What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Little Roy, a.k.a. Little Roy TV. We back with another video. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, subscribe over here. Subscribe also to my music channel. If you see the Instagram, run up my Instagram and go follow me over there. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Whatever I said repeatedly, whatever. Show some love. Um, so you see the title, you see the thumbnail. Congratulations. Guys, I hit on the shock drop. For these sneakers. My mom's account, my account is bread, money, cheese, guap. First of all, it didn't pop up on my screen. I don't know why. But I went to my order history and I was able to check and I realized on my big thing, my bank account on the app, it showed I was charged for men's injuries. I think my mom just got Roy. Yeah. And before I was interrupted, like I said. Both of our accounts hit men's and GS. Um, my account, like I said, I didn't pop up the got em screen. So I had to check. Well, I knew I checked the app. It said order history before it showed the six and a half. But it never showed the men's pair. So when I went back to my bank statement, I mean, my bank account, it alerted me that I was charged for men. And I was like, wait, what men's did I hit? I went back to the sneakers app. It showed I hit a ten and a half. I got a 10 and a half on the way. My mom's account got a size 10 on the way. But our grade school came super fast. Literally like in two days. Shot drop happened, what? What's today, Friday? It happened Wednesday, I think. Wednesday, Tuesday. Whenever the shot drop happened, I hit it. So if you don't believe me, clearly the pairs is here. I just wish the men's pairs would have came at least one men's pair so I could actually look at the men's pair. But do not worry. I would do a men's pair video reviewing comparison of the bread reimagined and my 2019 bread fours because I also have that. So stay tuned for that video. I need to get that video ASAP because comparison videos are super important and I know it's going to do good on the channel. So no further ado, let's get right in to the review of the video. See, the thing is when you get interrupted, I'm confused if I did the intro or not. But let's just get right to the review. So first and foremost, just in case parents or anybody want to watch, I did not go for a toddler. I mean, I should have probably, but I have a preschool, which is a nice little 2Y. So if you wear 2Y, this will be for sale, whatever. Obviously, it looks doofy because it's so tight, but nice little 2Y. Bread reimagined fours. Alright, so if you want to know anything, this is how it looks to all the parents out there who want to get their kid a little preschool. That's how it looks. And yeah, so like I said, no men's pairs, but let's get right into the good stuff. So like I said, on my mom's account, she hit a six, and then I hit a six and a half. Six, six and a half. So like I said in the video beforehand, at Dick Sporting Goods, I got a size seven and a size 12. So, I wish I had the men's pair to show you guys, but like I said, I don't. So, let's get right into this wonderful grade school, which I'm investing in these. They're bricks right now, but trust me, they will go up. So, if you have capital, buy them. Six and a half. It gives you the nice cement flight. Of course, they always do good on these Jordan 4 boxes. And the Nike right there. Alright. Nice little cement paper, of course, like they always do. And you get a whiff of that. Ooh, that good stuff right there. That good stuff right there. Let's put this back on. And voila. Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines. They come with the Nike tag. I know some people thought they were going to come with the orange, maybe. Like the old days, but it's black and white. Surprised they went with this. They didn't even put no red in it. But I guess this is a new tag. So black and white Nike tag. Jordan 4 bread reimagined. You guys, look how beautiful this looks in grade school. Like the leather on this, the material. Wow, I can't wait to do a comparison video for the other men's pair with the actual bread fours from 2019, I believe. Nike on the back, of course. You got that good 
cherry red, whatever red in the back of the tongue. It says Air Jordan, I believe, right? I can't really see. Yeah, Air Jordan. Got that Nike inside as well. You can kind of see it. Yeah, my finger's blocking it. Look at that. Six and a half. Look at that good leather right there. First of all, it's not even that much white. This little white, who cares? You really can't even dirty this shoe, if we're being honest here. And then, of course, you got that flight on the tongue. All right, everything looking so swell. You got the net right there. I can't wait to lace up my reimagines when I get my size. Like I said, as of now, I got a size 10, 10 and a half, and 12. I need to get a size 11, 13, and 14. 11, 13, 14. And my nine and a half. So I gotta put that down on the list to make sure on release day I hit a nine and a half. Look at that. Bow, 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 bow. You guys let me know. Did you hit on the shock drop? Do you want these when they drop next week, officially February 17? Are you gonna pass on these? And let me know. Strictly, this is the one question I also wanna know. Is this one of the sneakers of the year? For you. Not for me, because it's not. But is this at least a top five, top three shoe of the year for you? I do think this is a good red four colorway, like I said. Um, and generally, I always think you can make sneakers great in different many ways. Like, I don't see no flow with this shoe at all. And I can see me wearing this way more than I wear my suede ones. Because that's more legendary. This is just a new version. But I am glad that they make making a lot for people. But when they make a lot... You know what that means. People are going to wear it. It's going to sell out. It's going to be hard to get your size again. And people like me that are buying to build up capital. I mean, buying just the holes so they go up. Yes, I know the sneaker market is down right now. But if a thousand people want this shoe and a thousand pairs are sold out and only 800 pairs are used and abused, what do you think the other 200 is going to do? Now 800 people want it again. Or people are going to sleep and then want it and then it's going to go up even more. But I do think this is a great shoe. Let me know what you guys think down below. Is it one of the sneakers of the year? Like I said, it shouldn't be too much difference in a men's pair or a GS. But definitely this is a nice shoe. I do like it. It makes me want my pair even more. So a nine and a half will be coming my way. Um, even though I'm posting a video doing it early, I still will vlog. Vlog in-store pickups and also just do a video that day and probably a review of how much pairs i end up hitting in total um but no further ado i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching your boy little roy is out one final look at the shoe make sure you guys go follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys here in the next video your boy little roy is out peace <coughs>